What is up guys, welcome back to another video, so in this video I'm going to show you guys a really really good trading method for my trading to 1 million coin series And basically in the last episode you guys commented that I really wanted to see a trading method on this And as you can see the players that were listed up from last episode have indeed sold as well which is absolutely amazing So now sitting on 129,000 coins plus the Sigurdsson I got there right before making this video I got him in a CDM for 13k, I can sell him for, like tw I can sell him for 26k, making over 10k on him You guys really wanted an in-depth method on this trading method right here and that is what I'm going to bring you that that is the reason why this episode here is called 8.5 because it's just a trading method episode. I'm gonna show you guys the method and the methods, um, yeah, basically that I've been using in previous episodes. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So Basically what I do, I either go into footed, look up the informs, or I just go here to my squad, or basically to the, to the team of the weeks. And I bet just look at these players, and just looking at these players, you can do this with wing players, you can do this with left mids, right mids, whatever. And you can do this especially good with CMs or strikers. So for example, let's take Maori, or yeah, let's go ahead and let's just take Maori for, from this team of the week. So Maori, he is there a um, cent uh, center forward, uh, he's in form as a center forward, so we're going to look him up in different positions. First of all, I can, uh, yeah, so we can start him off in the CDM, obviously when I... Uh, Enter, um, you're gonna go probably like 5,000 coins there because you want to get obviously get rid of the normal cards So go about 6,000 coins there and you just want to search them up and as you can see CDM As you can see here 16,000, 800,000 there I mean 18k so basically for example if that wasn't there now and that was there for 16k the next cheapest would have been 20k This is basically how a trader just go through these just do this with every single card basically and it's super super simple As you can see the cheapest now is about 16,000 coins but I seriously like I believe it was on the yesterday or something I got this guy uh, for like 5k cheap or something from the next ships by now which is just absolutely amazing you can get this on bids as well but it's uh, just rarely they get listed up on bids um but mari right there wasn't the best of example we can take lima which is a default striker his inform is a default striker so we can take lima for example look him up first of all in the cam see what you can get there as you can see okay so there we have a deal actually right there as you can see, 10,000 coins. The one after that is 13,000 coins. So, you know what? I'm actually going to pick that up. This guy's probably going to be rising in price as well. He's probably going to be rising up in price because, yeah, he's so cheap and his infant card is just up. Look at his stats, though. They are crazy. But I got him one there for 3k cheaper. Plus, I'm going to be investing a little bit in him. I could have made 3k now if I want to sell him, but I'm just going to wait for uh, for him to rise a little bit up in price. We can go CM as well. As you can see, uh, we will indeed be finding some cheap bids there. I actually got this guy yesterday or something for like 14k in a, C, uh, in a CM, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, I've been selling a lot of my CDM cards for Lima as well, which has been up working out so amazing for me. So that is also another way of doing it. Now, a player that I've been using a lot is Van Yama. He's a very good player. He's a CM default, so we can check him out in the CDM first. See what we can get there. So we have one there for 18k, 16k there, and sometimes there will be one for like 10,000 coins and stuff. It's just absolutely amazing. Just remember to refresh this method as much as you can. As you can see, there's just one building set up there for 17k. You can also go uh, like CAM here. You can go CAM position. See if we can get us and see this one for 15k next cheapest is uh, is 17k So I, I don't know that that would have been all right if there wasn't anyone there for 17k Center forward is only one there for 23k, but I wouldn't really recommend picking it up in center forwards Is there any strikers? There's a few here. There's one there for 20k the next cheapest is uh, 24k So could have gone out and made a little bit of profit on that as well But strikers in Vandiyama does take a little while to sell. We also have this guy right here, Guai uh, Which is another from which is from another team of the week. He's a CM Wow, he is actually a CM and he's a striker for only 12k. I would, oh my, I'm going to pick this one. I, this guy yesterday went for 20k in a striker. The price is, is really different from like every single day. I'm just going to wait for this guy tonight to have no cards up on the market because one time during the night, this guy will be, like that will be the only one in that position because they are so rare, guys. They are extremely rare. Don't see CIM here. There's just one there for 12k. These are cheap now. These are very cheap. These were going for like 20k the other day. So that is absolutely amazing on GUI right there. We can see center forward here, see if there's anything. So nothing really there. But basically that is basically what I do. I go through different team of the weeks. What I do is that I just go in there. I go into different team of the weeks and I just look up the players basically and then I look them up on the market, convert them to different positions. You can convert left mids to left forwards, left wings, and see if you can get anything there as well. But that is basically what I do with these informs and that is just how I trade. Obviously if you have more coins you can probably go ahead and do this with like more expensive informs. For example like like I said Martins there uh, even you know MNE you can do this with more expensive informs as well. But right now I'm just doing this with the coin amount that I do indeed have but I'm probably going to start doing this with more expensive informs as well. So that is basically how I do this trading method. Simple as that. I, it's so simple and I usually list them out for 12 hours guys. I'm telling you guys that right now I list them out for 12 hours and so many of them sell overnight. It is absolutely ridiculous how many of these players sell overnight it is just so many so many of them sell 
which is absolutely amazing, and that is that is one of the reasons that I absolutely love the trading method. Is so many of them sell all right overnight, which is just great. So yeah, guys, try to see up for for overnight. Just see one there for 14k. Next cheapest is 18k. There's so many great possible deals to get by this trading method, here, and I would really recommend go out and try this, guys. It is super easy, super simple, and that's why I've been using this method for the last few days in my trading to one in coin series. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, and yeah, I'll probably have episode nine of trading to one million coins up tomorrow because I'm going to be. Uh, listing up these. I can, actually, I can list up these pairs here as well right now. I'll list up this. I'm not going to list up that one yet. I can probably, I can probably just list, list them up later on today. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave it a like. If this method also helped me, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you guys send me some tweets uh, if you get any deals, like very good deals. Also, guys, Merry Christmas to all of my subscribers. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas to uh, today. We actually celebrate Christmas in Norway. So, I'll let you guys know uh, what I get and stuff uh, in a video probably later today. I'm not sure about that. I'm probably going to be trying to run a stream if not. I'm going to uh, do a stream tomorrow, which should be good. So, hey guys, hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later today with more one more video. Goodbye, guys.